What's up guys, Tomsi here. Today I'm going to be doing a little EDC and account update. I know it's been a while since I've made a video and I apologize for that but just work and life in general has been pretty crazy and I've just been really busy so sorry about that guys but I do have lots of cool gear, new stuff that I want to do reviews and I actually have a flashlight review or comparison that I'm going to do right after I make this video so you guys can look forward to that but for my account update just want to let you guys know that I will be still having my 100 sub contest um, I told you guys I'd have one and I am going to have one so just need to get the prizes which I do have an idea that I wanted to run by you guys so Here's my idea. In order for me to buy the prizes for the contest, I'd have to sell some of my unused or some of my gear that I no longer use. So I was thinking, hey, instead of selling off that stuff, why don't I just offer it to you guys as prizes? So, I mean, let me know what you guys would rather use or rather have, you know. For instance, I have this Chloris NT20 flashlight, which is an awesome, awesome light, perfect for EDC has removable pocket clip the user interface is sweet uses two CR123 batteries which I will include if uh, you guys want this as one of the prizes but um, it's in very good condition as you can see so have that also have a 4.7's cork AA model this is the regular version not the tactical does have some minor scuffs on it, some anno missing, but nothing that will affect the light in any kind of way. Still works perfectly. Uses one double A, awesome light. So, also have some other miscellaneous gear here and there, maybe some knives that I can offer up. So, let me know. Um, if not, I was thinking about buying some more pocket tools, like my last. Uh, contest I used a Gerber shard and a little I think it was a Spyderco honeybee as the prizes I was thinking about you know using some more pocket tools as prizes um, for instance Shrade has a titanium pocket tool out there you can see it on unique titanium.com I was thinking about using that as a prize so yeah let me know in the comments below which you guys would rather have you know new prizes or my gear that I no longer use as prizes so yeah that is my account update so let's get started with the EDC first off I have my little case peanut been using this as my backup blade and I believe this is the amber or I can't believe it I can't remember if it's amber or caramel or brown bone but it's, it's one of those <laughs> um, awesome little blade to use you know if you're if you don't want to you know whip out you know your huge four inch tactical blade or whatever you know whatever you carry your for your full size EDC knife I mean if you 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 know take this out and someone's scared of this knife then they have some serious mental problems but this is what I've been using as my backup knife or you know if I don't want to whip out my my full size EDC knife so this carries you know very nicely just in the front pocket so got that been still carrying my Burt's Bees lip balm whoa awesome stuff use this all the time like I always mention probably my most used piece of gear so you need some good lip balm get Burt's Bees here is my new pen that I've been using I actually lost my Zebra F301 Compact, which you guys have seen in my past videos. And that Zebra pen was actually my favorite pen to carry, but I can't find it anywhere. So I ended up purchasing, purchasing this Parker, which I believe is the Jotter. All stainless steel. Um, very nice pen. Only complaint I have is that when I use it to write, I like to hold my pen down here, but it's just so thin and narrow that it's, it's uncomfortable for me. So what I usually end up doing with this pen is holding it up here 
and it's just not as comfortable to write when you hold it in it like this, at least for me. But the pocket clip is very nice, nice and sturdy, holds it, holds it in your pocket, nice and firm. Um, I really like the clicky, it's nice and solid, I mean you need some force on there to click it open so this thing won't accidentally click open in your pocket. Um, other than that, it writes smoothly and carries nice in the pocket. I mean, I don't even notice it's there because it's so, I mean, so thin and smooth. So, And it is a little bit slippery too. So, But overall, very nice pen. Um, let's see my keys. Keys are pretty much still the same. Got my Atwood Poltergeist, mini Poltergeist with the star stamp which is riding on my Maritac gate clip from Countycom. Have my pill fob with some meds in it. My Countycom AAA, which is uh, I think is the perfect backup light. I mean, super bright, nice and compact, and carries nicely on the keys. Other than that, I just got my house keys and my car keys, and everything's riding on this titanium split ring, which I also got from Countycom and is holding up very nicely so love it I love titanium so there's my keys um... Let's see what else leather bracelet looks like a paracord bracelet but it's actually leather it's made out of a, a leather strand or rope and has a nice stag, stag bead on it and this is actually made by a forum member on EDCF Everyday Carry Forums, and his screen name is Griffin Hawks. So, uh, awesome, awesome guy. Does some cool leather work and other Kydex stuff, but he made this, and I've been carrying it for probably a little bit over a month, and it's holding up very nicely. Um, I love this. Love this bracelet. So, there's that. Got my wallet, the Allit wallet which I showed you guys in a previous video holds everything nice and thin have no complaints the ripstop nylon is holding up very nicely the stitching is perfect nothing coming undone no holes holds all my bank cards credit cards my Atwood ABC tool card um, holds it holds everything in a very very nice thin package and carries carries comfortably in the back pocket so that is my wallet um, for my light been carrying the HDS 170 clicky um, easily one of my favorite lights especially since I got the Modo titanium pocket clip upgrade awesome light bulletproof I mean this thing has never failed me and I love the beam I love the tint of the beam um, I love the user interface. This has a titanium bezel, and I mean this thing is just bomb proof. I mean there's 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 uh, reviews out there of people you know dropping this light off a building and it's still working. So awesome light. For my main blade, lately I've been carrying my Hinderer XM18. This is the three inch version with a marsh green G10 scale. Um, this is an awesome knife guys I, I love it I have no complaints whatsoever it carries great in the pocket the titanium has a beautiful stone wash finish very smooth flick it open with the thumb stud I use my middle finger or you could just use the flipper super smooth and you could also just you know open it normally with the thumb has a very nice lockup super sharp and you know just the, I, I love the contour of the handle you could hold it up here hold it down here you know just fits very nicely in my hand so yeah guys that is my EDC update thank you guys for all the subs all the comments everything um, stay tuned for some more videos coming soon and stay tuned for my contest coming up and if you guys like what you see, please sub.